Sup peeps, my name's Ian, I sell books on eBay Not got a lot of sales to share because I had to get them all churned out earlier on But uh, one's just come through this morning that's slightly curious I just thought I would share it with you It's... It's a noisy cat And the noisy cat has now left the room uh, Right, so the book is The Scribblings of a Madcap Shambleton by Noel Fielding Nice big book, mad cover Here's the back of his head. Uh, I've not, I've, I've had a glance through it. It's quite a curious little tome. Um, but Noel Fielding, you know who he is, yeah. Uh, recently been watching the one on Apple TV, Dick Turpin. It's quite good, I've quite enjoyed it. Uh, proper British nonsense. But the curious thing about this is Noel Fielding has bought it. Now, coincidence quite probably, but if not, Noel, why are you buying your own book if you've not got a copy? You know? Uh, if it is you, thanks very much. If it's not you, cheers to the Noel Fielding who bought it. But uh, I say, just a bit of a, bit of an odd one. Somebody potentially buying their own book. But, yep, great. Thanks for the support and all the rest of it. London address. I'm assuming he would live in London. Anyway, that's that one to share going out. Uh, Seven ninety nine, so not a massive sale, but a nice sale nonetheless. It was four pound plus postage, so I'll get that packed up and sent off potentially to No Fielding. Well, it is going to No Fielding, but is it the same one? I just don't know. Anyway, I say not a huge number of sales. To share and go through today but another couple of books did arrive delighted to have them but slightly annoyed at the same time although they've maybe recovered uh, delivered by Amazon in their usual cardboard sleeve and left on the front doorstep in the rain I was here no chap at the door nothing just left on the doorstep so I noticed there was a parcel there quite quickly, so it hadn't got too wet, but a little bit of, a teeny wee bit of water damage on them, so I'm a bit annoyed about that. But anyway, what we've got is the second part of, uh, what was this, what's it called again? Anyway, A Little Hatred, The Trouble With Peace, and then something else, what's it? The Age of Madness trilogy, that's it. So I've got the second part of the Age of, Age of Madness trilogy. I was wasn't going to buy it for a wee while because I've really enjoyed the first one steamed through it desperate to read that but I've got a lot of other things I want to read so it'll go at the bottom of the pile and I'll try and resist getting to it but the first one was brilliant really hoping that's just as good and then we've still got the third one in the trilogy to get through so really kind of intriguing world that he's got yeah it's a bit of fantasy but real world fantasy there's potentially a bit of magic in there somewhere but it's not dragons and dwarves and elves and goblins and orcs and it's, it's kind of about progress which is weird the first one was anyway you know it's a instead of it being a medieval setting it's more that kind of early Victorian age you know the industrial revolution is coming in and capturing all of that which adds an extra wee twist but yeah looking forward to that one and the other one that came in is S.A. Cosby's Blacktop Wasteland so yeah it's Dennis Lehane likes it. I like Dennis Lehane, so that's a good shout. But we've got Bug Montage, Honest Mechanic, Loving Family Man. He's no longer the criminal he was, the sharpest wheelman east of the Mississippi. But when his respectable life crumbles, a shady associate comes calling with a one-time job promising a huge payout. Inexorably drawn to the driver's seat and haunted by the ghost of his outlaw father, Bug is yanked back in to a savage world of bullets and betrayal. Like Breaking Bad in a high-speed collision with Drive, this dazzling novel holds up a cracked mirror to the American dream and tells the story of one man pushed to his limits by poverty race and self-destructive masculinity. So that sounds like my kind of thing. But it uses TV and movie references to describe it. That suggests it's going to have a bit of pace and it's going to be a quick, easy read, which it's only a little book, so it probably will be. So yeah, I'm curious... Uh, A.C. Cosby, he's got quite a few books out there. A lot of them have been really highly rated and I've seen recommendations for them all over the place. But I thought I would start with that one and just see how it goes. Uh, what did I see it on? Cousin 5. Check out Cousin 5. 
he loves his romance books but he recommended that one too so I'm going to give that a go uh, and I'll stick a couple of links to these in the description down below up above over the side whatever it is and if anyone else is interested they can get into them so that's the couple of wee books that came in the curious purchase of a no fielding book by no fielding and ah, not much more to talk about been listing loads not a bad day of sales but like I say I had to get them all churned out quite early in the day I'm just having a wee browse to see if there was anything particularly interesting in the rest of the sales that went out this morning but we've got like a James Oswald bundle a Terry Pratchett bundle a box set of Choose Your Own Adventure books went for 12 quid that was quite nice a Santa Montefiore bundle and Irvin Welsh bundle, don't sell many of them but another fantastic author but should sell all the time, another Terry Pratchett bundle but this one was four Terry Pratchett's along with The Children of Men by P.D. James great film, I haven't read the book uh, Len Dayton vintage paperbacks, so six Len Dayton vintage paperbacks 1999 so that's quite a nice one, I'm keeping my eyes open for those kind of vintage collections, you know 60s, 70s, early 80s they seem to do quite well a copy of Plato, The Apology of Socrates by A.M. Adam from 1959 and that went for £11.99 so that was another nice wee single. A bundle of Jacqueline Wilson, uh, Bernard Cornwall, one of the, picked up loads of new books before Christmas, there's Agatha Christie, Bernard Cornwall, um, so I've got a whole, about half a dozen of these, The Bloody Ground, really good condition, well, they're new, let's be honest, they're new books. That's what they are sold as, and that went for seven ninety nine by itself, and then a wee bundle of Grisham, and two conspiracy type books: Lost Secrets of the Sacred Art by Lawrence Gardner, and Rosalind, Guardian of the Secrets of the Holy Grail by Tim Wallace Murphy. Um, they went for four quid each, plus postage. Yeah, so that's us all cut up. A wee short video. It's Saturday. That's all we can really do, isn't it? Have a short video, crack on with the day. Um, who knows? Noel knows. So, Noel, if, if you're watching this, mate, cheers again. Remember to subscribe and like and all the rest of it. Anyway, that's all for now. See you. Love you. Bye.